Hey, I hope you're having an absolutely incredible day. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this exact same style of Instagram Reels completely on autopilot using AI. Now, I'll show you what it sounds like, but essentially, it's a picture of Alex Ramosi done up, and then there's also this quote with him speaking. Possible to control a man who has no needs. To me, that's freedom. Right, so in this video, we are going to be generating your own AI voice. After that, we are going to be compiling it all. And to do this, you're gonna need a few different tools. So the first thing you're going to need is Canva. Canva is what we're going to design this, you know, this image, this background in. So we're gonna go create a design, Instagram reel. So you have your Instagram reel size. You're going to need a picture of yourself. You're gonna come down here and click on duration. So you just get a photo. All right, so I got this picture of me. It's actually AI generated too, which is funny, but this is the video that I'm going to be using today to just demonstrate obviously choose the pictures that you want to your liking right so if you look the next thing he has is his name so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing go into text we're gonna add a heading all right we're gonna make i just made it white and we're gonna decrease the size a little and you know really play with it till you get the the look that you're going for so if we search verified we can just pull in this so in elements there's another portion called frames so if we import the frame so boom, there we go. Then he had something similar right below it, which was his handle. And then that was just unbolded and a smaller font, right? So something like that. And then maybe choose a slightly different color. All right, so I've played around. I found something that I like. Next thing we're going to do is share, download, and then switch it to a either a JPEG. I usually do JPEG because PNG can be a larger file size. So we're going to stick with JPEG and we're going to hit download. All right. Awesome. So step one is done. Now, the next thing we're going to set up is the AI voice. So here we have 11 labs. If you don't know what 11 labs is, it just like literally what it says here, creates the most realistic speech using text. So we're going to go to the app, create an account if you don't have one yet. And then within here, you have a profile and API key. So you're you're going to want to save your API key for later in this video because we're going to need it. It's necessary. That's how we'll make this connection. If you come into voices right here, click voices, you have create or clone a new voice, and then you would add a new voice. And for this, you're going to want to click on instant voice cloning. So here you can see samples should contain one speaker and be over one minute long and not contain background noise. So you can name it. This is where you'll drop your one minute recording. So for this, I literally just, I took my phone and I spoke into it like this on the recording app for a minute. Well, actually more because the longer quality or the longer recording that you have, the better the output and the more human it's going to sound. So I took, I think like a three minute clip and then I added it here for labels. I added, it will just open up mine. So I did uh, two takes here. You can see it. And uh, so I just did accent American and American. And that's pretty much it. And then you get this instant voice clone and you get a voice ID, right? So that's step two, done. And lastly, you're going to want to come into this tool called JSON to video. You're going to get your free API key so that you can make your connection. And that's pretty much it. So once you have those three steps done, we can get started making the actual workflow within make. Now, the only thing left is to come up with the copy of the video, right? And there's so many different ways that you can do this. I mean, one of the simplest is to just really go to the free YouTube transcript generator. So come to this link right here. You're going to head into YouTube. All right, then we are going to choose a video for this one. I'm going to pick this one right here. Copy that link and we're going to paste it in. Get video transcript within seconds. It's exported the entire video. We're going to hit copy. We're going to open up chat GPT. And all I wrote was give me the top 10 viral quotes for social media from this YouTube transcript, right? So here we got a few here. So persistence is just being willing to stay the course despite all odds, despite the many shiny objects that come your way. So there's, there's some good ones in here and it's up to you to choose which ones you want to keep and which ones you don't. So I'm going to copy them all for the purpose of this video. Head on over to Drive. We're going to create a new Google Sheets. We'll call it Hermosi style quotes. All right, guys. So now I added in this ID. I have quotes in the middle, which are the quotes we got. And then we have status equal to not posted. So what's going to happen is we're going to build it out and make so that it comes in here. It looks at the lowest number, right? It looks at one. It sees that it's not posted and it's going to grab that quote. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is come in here, Google Sheets. And we want to just search for rows. Now, in order to make a connection, you'd come in here, you'd go show advanced settings. You're going to have a client ID and a client secret. 
To do that, you'll just come into Google Cloud Console, you go create a new project. So I made mine Integra Mac Google Drive, and you're going to search for Google Sheets. Boom, right there. You can enable it. Mine's already enabled. And then you would just come into here, OAuth consent screen. You would create an app, just follow the steps. And then the only thing that's important is right down here in authorized domain, you put in Integromat and make.com as the authorized domains. You go ahead, hit save, and then you can come into the credentials and you would go create credentials, OAuth client ID, which is what we have here. And then that will generate your client ID and your client secret. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So we're just going to connect to the existing one that I have right now. And then you're just going to want to find your spreadsheet. So ours was Hermosi style quotes. Boom, sheet one. Table does contain headers. The range you can just set A to Z. And we are going to set the filter of status equal to not posted. We're going to sort the order by ascending and we're going to order by the ID. And then the field type is going to be number and we want to return one row and we're going to hit OK. So the next thing we want to do is we want to update a row. And that's super important because we want to make sure that the next time it goes and does this same action again, it's not grabbing the same same quote. And to do that, that's why we have the not posted and posted. So we're just going to search for update a row. So same thing, navigate to your file, Moses style quotes sheet one and the row number is going to be the row number from step one right here so just come in here click row number table contains headers yes and then under status we're just going to switch it to posted and hit okay don't forget to save it as you go okay now the next thing we want to do is connect to 11 labs so now we're going to create a speech synthesis right so same thing this is when you want to do your 11 labs connection so you'd come in here you'd hit add you could paste your api key right in here I've already done that, which is why I have the connection. Now the voice that we're going to be choosing is going to be the cloned version that you created. So you can choose 11 multilingual, this one right down here. The text is going to be the quote, and you can just leave the rest of this blank. And then we're going to hit OK. Don't forget to save. We're going to hit save. And the next thing we want to do is connect that to Google Drive. So we're going to come in here, Google Drive, and we want to create a folder. We're going to create a folder for where we are going to save this file. Because the thing is, is that if you just create this voiceover, what's going to happen is it's going to have nowhere to be able to be downloaded from. And so we're going to upload it to Google Drive, create a shareable link, and then download it to the final step of this video creation. So choose where you want to save it. I have trash, I also have content. It's just uh, for anything temporary, I usually save it in trash. So that's what I am saving it today. And the folder name can literally be anything. It's called the file name from 11. Lab. And we're going to set share folder equal to yes, type set to anyone and the role could be reader. And now we're going to hit okay. And next thing we want to do is we want to upload that file. So right here, we're going to upload the 11 labs speech synthesis. And then the folder ID is going to be the folder ID that we just created. Hit okay. And then lastly, we want to get a shareable link so that we can download it. So it's like a shareable URL download link. So get a share link, right? So select file, choose my drive. The file ID is going to be the file ID from the previous step type. We're going to set to anyone and you can just leave allow file discovery set to no. We're going to hit okay. okay. So next up, we are going to want to make a HTTP request. We're going to be posting and this is where we will be creating our video within JSON to video. So we're going to need this URL api.json to video movies and you are going to need two headers the first one is going to be content type application json and the second one is going to be x dash api dash key and then right here you are going to paste your api key in now that's where you would go to json to video and if you click get a free api key it would have been sent to you so use that api key here and just paste it in right here set the body type to raw content type to JSON application and then hit OK, hit save. Now we're going to head into JSON to video under movie templates. You're going to add a new template, open that up, right? resolution set to custom. Now we can edit these values. So width is 1080 and the height is 1920. All right. Now within scene, we're going to add an element. We're going to add an image, hit add, click on the image and we're going to go choose upload file and upload our creation and hit save. And we are going to delete this and instead use a subtitle. So if you click within subtitle and choose a bunch of different stuff, I'll let you mess around with it. I like classic one word, I find it more punchy. 
Fawn family, I would like leave Baskerville font size. Choose whatever you want. And yeah, anyways, you could go ahead, mess around with all of these. And then position, I like center, center. So now you can see that this is how it's going to output. Now, if you really wanted, you could switch it to more classic progressive. I, that looks more like the, the video that we just saw. So we'll go with that one for this. Okay. All right. Awesome. And then the last thing we're going to need to add is audio. Hit add the audio. We've got that. Now we are good in this emoji style quotes. And okay, we're going to back out here. All right. Now, if we click here on this little eye, it'll give you the JSON request that we're going to be passing. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to copy that and we're going to head back into our make scenario. We're going to head back into our make scenario. I'm going to paste in that request content here. Awesome. Just like this. And the only thing that we need to change now is the audio, right? It's the source. So we're going to put a comma, go to the next line. I'm going to copy this, paste it in and switch this to source SRC and replace audio with the web content link. So this last portion right here, you can get rid of the comma in the end here. You can see we've got the width, we've got the height. We have it all. It's all contained within here. And then we're going to parse the response and we're going to hit OK and save. Now the next thing we want to do is put in a sleep timer. There is a better way to do this, but much more complicated and it uses your table. But if you are interested for your own knowledge and you want to try and build it out yourself, check out callback URLs because essentially what you can do is wait for this callback URL to be completed and it'll notify you when it is. So, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to set the delay to 90 seconds. Hit okay. Then we want to grab that video. The so same thing. We're going to make it the request. So the URL is going to be the previous URL from the previous step. Paste that in, except this time it's going to be set to get. We're going to add in the same headers and then under query string, we're going to hit plus name is going to be project. The value we're going to set to data project. And right now we're not going to be able to grab that because we haven't ran this automation once. That's what you would add. We add the data project. Set parse response to yes. Hit OK. We're going to save it. And we're just going to unlink this step right here. And we're going to test out our automation for the first time and see what kind of output it's going to generate. So we're going to run it once. You know, you can test your steps along the way, right? So look, it went ahead. It searched the row, right? We've got to make sure that it successfully got it. So you can see here, this status was switched to posted and click here. You can see that this was the input bundle, the output bundle. We got a successful file name. It created a folder in within our Google drive, right? If we go on over to our drive, you can see that it's successfully created that folder with the name from right here, right? The file name that's right here. You can see that it has the same file name, then got the share link, created the share link. And you can see that the output was 200, meaning that the request was successful. And if we go into JSON to video, we go into our render logs. It looks like it's already finished. We can click play to see it. The best business is the one you stick with. The thing that makes it the best isn't the thing itself. It's our commitment to it. Boom. Look at that. Amazing. We can reconnect this. And if we go back into the project value, Data. We're just going to click on project, get rid of that. Now we hit OK. Now it's created the video. It waits for the video to complete. And now it's getting the link, right? So it's going to get that video. Now that it's created that URL, we want to get that file. So it's going to be the data movie URL. So once again, we're going to have to unlink this. We're going to have to run it once so that we get the data that we want. There is a little shortcut that you can do here. Air if you come in here, you click, you go run this module only, so run this module only. It's going to ask for the project. You can click on this little search icon, the magnifying glass, go into data and copy your project. And we're going to paste it in here, hit OK. We'll generate that output. Now, if you come in data movie, we have the URL to be able to download that. You can connect it to get a file. We're going to go data movie URL. So now we've we've officially gotten that that URL download link. Then from here, you know, it's it's really up to you. Let's see, I would say put in a kind of a, a proof check or like some sort of human verification that this is something that you want to post. So for that, you could connect it to Google Drive, upload a file, 
you know, upload your HTTP file that you just grabbed. Folder ID can be equal to the same folder ID that you created earlier. You could create a new folder if you wanted. Another really cool thing you could do too is you could do a push notification. Yeah, another thing you could do is get notified on your phone, right? So I'm with Apple, so I'd go Apple iOS, show more, send a push notification. Use your device, set this up, you'd hit add, you'd go to the app store, just follow the steps on the app. Like it's literally super easy. You're gonna scan a QR code and that will just connect to your device. And that's it. And from there, you, know, you could create the title. So you can set the, the title to like new post ready, body, whatever you want. OC style, and you can just get the web content link on that file and then set it to open browser and the URL address will be the web content link and hit OK. And then you'll be notified on your phone whenever your video is created. You could also, if you wanted, if you wanted to post it directly without any human intervention, add a router and you'll connect to your different platforms. So you could have Instagram for business, create a real post, right? You create your connection. You have to go into Facebook, uh, the client ID, client secret. You go into Facebook for developers, create your account, do the same thing with YouTube, upload a video, make your connection, have the video, just build it out like that. TikTok, you know, like whatever platforms you want to post to. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you can end up with your own video. It looks exactly like this. The best business is the one you stick with. Thing that makes it the best isn't the thing itself. It's our commitment to it. Considering that's entirely AI, even even I'm AI, I use some like AI editing app. We got immense value out of this video. I hope you take this tool and use it for yourself and build out some crazy automations, right? Really the sky's the limit. It's just knowing the concepts here that are the most important part. And once you know those, you can tweak it to your own specific situations to be able to create your own unique videos fully on autopilot. And you can come down here, you can set in the schedule settings that you need. Also started my own school. I'll be posting all of these blueprints. There are three spots left at $20 before I double the price up to 40. I'm going to be building out some super incredible things. Two of the things that I really want to build out and that will be built out is a social media management system that's going to be fully within Airtable. And the other one is going to be a faceless blog creation software. So. If you are interested and you want to get in early, I suggest now's the time. I hope to see you in there. We have weekly calls where we discuss your projects that you're working on. So that being said, I hope you have an incredible day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.